Department of Economics is offering an open course on international trade and finance. This course is offered for the degree 5th semester students of our college. All students except economics main students can study the course if interested. The syllabus provides 2 hours for the course every week. The total marks for the paper is 50, out of which 40 is from external evaluation and 10 from internal evaluation. The aim of the course is to equip the students with at least some knowledge about the international trade. By the end of the course, the student will be able to interpret and if, uh, the different concepts related to trade. He and she will be equipped to prepare the balance sheet of trade. What only needed is interest in the course. Economics is a life subject which deals with our daily life. So come, let's have an interaction with the course. International trade is very much linked to our day-to-day -day life. Modern economies are open economies. No country can stay away from other countries. In modern world, trade has a very important role to play. So it's important to know about international trade. As we can see from the uh, picture, all the nations are interdependent irrespective of their size, their economic condition and all. The first module gives a basic idea about international trade. The concepts related to trade, the motives behind trade, the importance of trade, all these are discussed in the first module. Second module is, uh, discusses the theories of international trade. The classical and modern theories of trade are discussed in detail in this module. It gives the students a technical knowledge about how the nations can gain from trade. All the nations, both developed and developing, can gain from trade if they are well aware of their resources. Third module deals with foreign exchange market. This module discusses in detail the functions of foreign exchange market and the concept of exchange rate. It also helps to understand the theories related to exchange rate determination under various exchange rate regimes. Uh, for a developing country, the participants of foreign exchange market with the central bank is the apex institution, and commercial banks, traditional users, traders, speculators, brokers. And if we take the case of a developed country, we can say foreign exchange market participants as a, uh, multinational corporations, companies also uh, participating in the foreign exchange market. Fourth module uh, deals with balance of payments. Balance of payments is a systematic account of all economic transactions of a country with outside world in an accounting year. The calculation and structure of balance of payments are discussed in this module. The structure of balance of payment is like this. It has two main accounts, current account and capital account. And the current account has two uh, sections, visibles and invisibles trade. <clears throat> All these aspects are closely related to our daily life. Hence, it is important to know at least the basics of international trade. Department of Economics welcomes all the interested students to our department. Thank you.